What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So news has come out that longtime PlayStation producer Connie Booth has reportedly left Sony. We don't know whether she she retired, or she, whether she was let go, uh, whether whether she had to step down for a certain reasons. We don't know that detail yet. Um, and I'm actually familiar with Connie Booth because I watch a lot of gaming podcasts, a lot of different gaming podcasts. Um, so that's why I'm familiar with her. And I'm and, you know, she's kind of like the PlayStation uh, in especially in her, I guess, heyday. And she's like the super producer, the super project manager. And I'm going to get into a little bit of that. Um, <clears throat> but last night, David Jaffe put out this very, uh, I guess, dramatic tweet that made it seem and implied like some super megaton scandal news was about to be coming out. Right. From uh, regarding PlayStation and people like, oh, what is going? Is it layoffs? Is it, uh, you know, just something terrible? Like, you know, the sky is falling on. Apparently, Connie, it was that Connie Booth was leaving. And I'm and I'm like, really, Jaffe? This is it. By the way, Connie Booth has been at PlayStation for 34 years. Now, here's the thing, right? <clears throat> to David Jaffe, this is a big deal. And I and I know why, because David Jaffe is one of those people who who uh, I've learned about Connie Booth from. And he's described and others has described Connie Booth as the super producer, super project manager in game in gaming that if you want to make sure a game is hitting all its milestones and a game, you know, releases and gets out the door when it's supposed to. She's who you call. She's Ghostbusters. That's that's who she is. If you she's Mrs. Get It Done, right? And this is from everything I've heard, um, everything I've heard from all types of different store sources and and the videos I've watched and the um and the podcasts I've listened to. She's Mrs. Get It Done, right? Cool. So this is not me taking away from any of her accomplishments or anything like that. She's clearly been an integral part in PlayStation's you know history for the last. I think I think she's been in this producer position for like 20 years 20, 25 years but she's been at sony for like 34 but my thing about david jaffe is this is a big deal to david jaffe i'm pretty sure the average playstation fan or even fanboy has no idea who connie booth is and has never heard of her she's not one of those common big playstation names that comes up a lot like I said, I only know her because I listen to a lot of podcasts and uh, listen to a lot of different variety of, of gaming perspectives and stuff like that. But Connie, Connie Booth is not a name that comes up amongst gamers like that. Like I've never you've never been in like a, a podcast. You've never been in. Well, these local the podcasts in our community, you've never been in like and even a lot of them outside. You're not going to listen to those these specific ones or even get on a, a Twitter spaces or anything like that or just be on Twitter and hear the name Connie Booth. You it's never happened. It's never came up. So da so but and David Jaffe has had a relationship with her um because she has you know had been at, been at PlayStation and he's worked with her cl closely during his time um in the, in the industry when he was making games. But once again, for the average gamer, bro, who is this chick? Once again, I'm saying that's for the average gamer. So when David Jaffe blows this up on Twitter and people realize, oh, Connie Booth is leaving PlayStation, a lot of people are like, who? So what? And my thing is, like, she's she was clearly phenomenal at her job. I think they, they credit her with getting over 100 games out the door during her you know, 25 years, um, you know, as a producer. And once again, she's been at PlayStation for 34. So taking nothing, uh, you know, nothing away from her. But, and th this is my perspective on just anybody that's worked at a company for such a long time, bro. People leave. People, some, I think, and I think sometimes people need to leave. I think leadership, even, and I, and I said this, I said this with Pete Hines. I, I said this with Jim Ryan. I, I, when I see someone work at a company for 25, 30 years, 35 years, it's hard for me to think that there's something more there or something deep there, some red flag, because I just see it as somebody has been 
uh, somewhere for a very long time and they're leaving, which I think is the norm and how things should be. I think that's just the natural order of things. When you're there for when you're at some place for really long, you need to leave or you should leave and new people with new I new vision, new uh, ideas, fresh perspective needs to come in and fill that spot. I, I think that's just how things should go, right? So there could be more behind this. I there is talk of layoffs. Um, I think what they said, XDev or one of these support studios. Uh, that does seem some some there seems to be something there with a, a few a few layoffs there. It doesn't seem to be like a whole bunch of people, but moves are being made. I I think whether and once again we don't know her reason, but it's hard for me to look at this and think that there's is something huge behind this. Once again, it's just hard for me to land at somebody who's been at a position for so long, leaving or even po- even if they're possibly being removed. It's hard for me to look at that and think like, oh, man, something's going on, bro. This, this person's been there forever, forever. This this lady has been at Sony longer than I've been alive. Literally longer than I've been alive, she's been at one company. So it's hard for me to be like, oh, man, what's going on? You know, that's a long freaking time, bro. My my life on Earth, my life on Earth is her is just her time at Sony. So I'm like, well, natural order of things. People have to move on. Changes happen. So, um, but yeah, she, like I said, she's the super producer. She's the Mrs. Get It Done super uh, project manager. Let me just read what this article says. Uh, Former Sony employee David Jaffe, who created God of War and Twisted Metal, tweeted Sunday that some sad, frustrating, and potentially super disrespectful news on the way uh, could mean that the Sony we all came up with is mostly dead. <laughs> like, Jaffe, this is very, once again, can you say this, this, like, the, it's another changing of the guard because the people that were there before are no longer there? Sure. But is that a bad thing? I don't particularly think so. And once again, nobody really, like, a lot of, a lot of us gamers, even that came up in that era, era, since the PS1, like I said, I'll, bro, I'm willing to bet a lot of them had no idea who Connie Booth is. So I'm not saying that 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 her, even though a lot of people didn't know who she who she was or who she is, that her impact still wasn't there. But it's not gonna hit people like it hits David Jaffe because they didn't know this chick anyway. So people don't care. Um, Jaffe later confirmed that. He was referring to Booth's departure, something that has yet to be officially confirmed by Booth or Sony. Uh, Booth has been with Sony since the early days of the PlayStation and involved in pr- the production of over 100 games, started with the original Crash Bandicoot, where she was the senior producer. Um, she's been on other productions such as Spyro, Siphon Filter, uh, Ratchet & Clank, SOCOM, Uncharted, Jack & Daxter, Infamous, Resistance, Sly Cooper, Last of Us, Spider-Man, Death Stranding, and Ghost of Tsushima. Um, she was inducted into the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame in 2020 because she was integral in helping produce many beloved SIE titles over the past 25 years. He goes on to discuss, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, he says, here's what I can tell you. She is no longer at Sony. I don't have a lot of details. I don't know if she was fired or laid off. When I heard the story, uh, everyone is telling me, uh, telling me she was fired. And then heard that her team was um, also walked out of the building. Um, I don't know if that's just someone being dramatic or it actually happened. Uh, He also claims that Booth is being replaced by Angie Smets from Guerrilla Software. Guerrilla Software. Do they mean Guerrilla Games or? Because Guerrilla Software. Let me see. Amy. I'm only looking it up because I, they never refer to Guerrilla Games as Guerrilla Software. So I'm like, what Guerrilla? Who calls Guerrilla Games Guerrilla Software? So I'm just making sure it's actually the same studio. Angie Schmetz, uh Yep, she's from... 
Yep, she's from uh, Gorilla, Gorilla Games. And she, Angie Smets left Gorilla in April 2023 to become the head of development, development strategy at PlayStation. So she just left the role this year, six, six months ago, to become the head of development strategy at PlayStation. And now she's also taking over Connie's job? Or is that, like, is this the same, the, one and the same thing? Or is she getting another promotion? Or are they just like, I don't know, folding um, Connie's role into her role? Not sure. But um, a lot of Guerrilla Games, uh, a lot of people from Guerrilla Games have been getting promotions. And listen, I'm not mad at it. I think they're, I, I can see why. I think they're, you know, very good at what they do. Uh, we know Herman Holst became head of studios. Uh, Amy, this Angie Smets uh, became the head of development strategy. So I'm not mad at it. They, they do a good job. Um, so once again, this is not shitting on Connie Booth or any of her accomplishments or anything she's done for PlayStation. Appreciate it. Salute. But, and, and it's always hard for me. Per, I always say this. It's hard for, it's always hard for me to think like one person leaving, even regardless of their, how big their position was. It's hard for me to really like look at it as a big deal. Even if it's like a head of a studio, it's hard for me to like. It, 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 to me, to me, multiple leaving, multiple people leaving a studio is probably a bigger deal. How do I put this? It's 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 not a bigger deal. It's like a bitter, a bigger red flag to me than one person leaving, even if that person had a higher position. So if I hear like, oh, ten people leaving, um, let 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 like let's take uh let's take Santa Monica. If I hear ten developers leave. Santa Monica, that's more of a, a, a red flag for me than Corey Barlog leaves Santa Monica. Corey Barlog is clearly more important, but it's not, much of a, it's not as much of a red flag as 10 people leaving, if you get what I'm saying. So that, that's kind of how I, how, how I look at it. Um, I don't, I personally, like I said, I personally don't think this is a, like some red flag, big deal, like, oh man, the something horrible is happening happening like i said it's just hard for me to really look at somebody who's worked somewhere for 34 years and then they're leaving or even get kicked out and be like oh man something's going on i just i just can't like default to that but maybe we'll get more details let me know what y'all think about all this um shout out to david jaffe he really knows how to get the people going i'm gonna be real with you y'all know i'm the biggest media molecule hater when i saw what david jaffe wrote I was like, it's finally happening. They're finally shutting down Media Molecule. And then they crushed my dreams. Oh, BG, why are you wishing for people to lose their job? Well, if people are not doing their jobs, they should be shut down. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Feelings have nothing to do with anything here. They are irrelevant. Um, so, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. And uh, I will catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Hit the like button. Check out my... Um, Check out my interview with Fighting Cowboy. Amazing interview. It was great. Uh, hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. Check out the last episode of Weapon Wheel. It was funny. It was great. And yeah, let me know what y'all think about Connie Booth leaving. <laughs> let me know if you've even, if you, but prior to this, you even knew, knew who Connie Booth uh, is or heard of her. I'm genuinely curious if y'all knew. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. Peace.